In this week's stream team, we're not tackling PvP, we're not tackling PvE, we're tackling your questions. Q&A! You guys took to YouTube and Twitter to ask us your hot questions. Hot you, steamy you asked questions. Them. We're here to answer them. Half of them were about Robbie's butthole, but that's, you know, that's aside the point. <laughs> the other half were about Michael Sarah. Now, on to the rapid fire round. These cover all the questions that pretty much there was like 80 bajillion of them. So for Robbie, Hawkmoon. Uh, I miss it. Butthole. Still pretty swollen. It's getting better though. Saltiness. More than Salt Lake City has combined. Yeah. Come Boom. on! F answer me! Give me Boom. more questions! Skill. Uh, godly. All right, yeah, okay. All right, calm down there, big boy. Sorry. Next up, Blue Westwell. Ah. Blue Westwell, are you ready? <gasps> I'm, I'm so ready. Michael Sarah Is apparently me. I'm real. <laughs> Manchild. I'm a bad bitch. Skill. Skill. Am I... Uh, next question. Back. It still hurts from Prison of Elders. Hey! Hey! Oh! Now, you're not getting out of this, Christian. You ready for yours? Nope. Vegetables. I hate them. Clash. Uh, a, a game type? Fruit Nation. I uh, love them. You're the best. A dream Team. Yeah, they're overrated, personally. Ugh, yeah, whoa. they are the worst. <laughs> Those nerds. I personally think I won my rapid fire round. Ten points to me. Sweet. All right. There's no points. Okay. Nope, there's points. Ten points We're gonna to me. <laughs> We're going to make this Q&A nope, a challenge. To me. How's that even My work? name's Robbie. I have to win one thing. <laughs> ten points to me. So it's ten. Is this zero. the video? I go. win something, please. <laughs> Welcome to the Dream Team's Q&A, where the questions are plentiful and the points don't matter. First off, we have Gosto asking, can you do Trials of Osiris? It, like, what? what? Did we, we just no. look back like a week. It's, there's two of them. Uh... Yes, we can. What's he talking about? I don't know what I, he's talking about. Great question. Great. We're starting off hot. Starting off with a bang. Great streak right now. Mentally stimulated right now. Shine Gorara ask, what is your guys' favorite music genre? Wow. Good good a question. question. Sh a Shin question. Shinagara? Shinagara? Um, I'm definitely into like old school hip hop and like kind of new hip hop, like Joey Badass and kind of MF Doom and that kind of music. I actually have a little more respect for you now, actually, but okay. <laughs> The fact you said MF Cole. Doom is like... I never Whoa. did this... Oh, and, uh... What? Baby, won't you come my way? We need to check oh, that song out, On Tuesday. Too. My ears. Oh, Lord, my ears. Uh, Fru, what's your fruit. favorite music genre? Music, 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 music genre. Well, it's no secret, I was born in the wrong generation. Personally, I could oh, go God. for some nice, smooth oh, jazz, which would include, like, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, the whole bit. Love it. Like this if you were born in the wrong generation. I cries every Tim's. They, I, I will do some dirty things for a sexy saxophone. Mm. <laughs> there is nothing that mm. speaks to me quite like a saxophone. <laughs> All right, well, I don't like saxophones that much anymore. That's a really hard question, because when I was in college, I was a huge music whore. Not <gasps> in a good or bad way, but <gasps> I'm really big on like that whole conscious hip-hop type thing but i yeah, guess my dude. favorite would probably have to be uh i don't know indie anything really is wait wait, wait. how's that me. so is there unconscious hip-hop i don't understand well con <laughs> conscious is like the just... stuff that you get no. you know what fruit someone who was born in the wrong generation wouldn't understand no really i don't know what conscious hip-hop is conscious it's like it's people that like talk about like important that it's like a catch-all thing for people that talk about like real so it's shit like a social commentary sort of thing in a real way talk. Yeah. real talk it's real, real talk. talk basically so it's like a ted talk in music form <sighs> you Educating don't understand mom mom you don't understand my music the fighter 411 asks are you guys planning on bringing your awesomeness to other games in the future well i think i'll Ooh. i'll let fruit answer that one yeah. Oh, that's my... Oh. Uh, well, uh, we do have plans to do other games. Right now, we're looking at GTA for the first one. But, yeah, we definitely want to try and branch out as time passes. I want I want us to do some scary games because Christian cannot handle scary games. I Who still can have, handle <laughs> scary games? I, oh, dude, I'm awful. I still have PT on my uh, PlayStation. We got to play this. Oh! You have to do that with face cam, too. No, I uh, would probably poop myself if we did that. So, I'm not sure if We got it. Uh, Blue, Blue, what would you like to see us do? Uh, just other games in general. I mean, there's like a million games we could play together. And 
I think it would be cool if we just started playing things besides Destiny. Because you guys don't just watch the Dream Team just for Destiny. You watch it because apparently no, we're all no, extremely just stupid and Destiny. funny at the nope, same time. I just watch it for Destiny because I like Destiny. Nope. Okay, fine. Nope. Whatever, Robbie. No, what we should start doing is like co-op games or like... Like, a good example is if there are two of us, that Nidgehog or whatever. You heard of that? That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Stuff yeah. like oh, that. Oh, Nidgehog. You know? That's, like, the one where, like, you stab each other and then you got to run. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. they, like, yeah, I'd yeah, be down you, for yeah, that. That'd be fun. I think if all of us could get PCs, I think there would be no... <sighs> no It limit. would be a, a pretty much guaranteed because... I don't There's so much PC stuff we could do on PC games. Where I we has a on. Mac. The next question comes from Pestilent Defiler. He asks, are there any weapons in Destiny which you feel deserve a nerf? And are there any weapons which you think deserve a buff? Thorn! Well, I definitely think Thorn. Uh, auto rifles should nerf definitely be de uh, should be nerfed because they're definitely OP in the Crucible. <laughs> and Soros is broken! You see them everywhere. <laughs> auto rifles are running rampant in Crucible, so Bungie, please nerf so those. Broken. JK so Lamau, please fix auto rifles. I miss you, Monte Carlo. I don't know about Vex. I don't know about no, Vex. I, said I think Thorn. Oh, okay. Final round snipers. Oh, Final round snipers need to not that... be a. F I don't know. Big. I don't know why that's a thing hey, in the first hey, place. Hey, stop pointing yeah, fingers I'm sorry at final to... round snipers. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you stop pointing I'm fingers at final you. My name's the Robbie. Final round I fault, use final right? round snipers. <laughs> a gun shouldn't be able to one shot in the crucible if it's not a headshot. Period. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. Well, I agree. Look at a rocket launcher. That one shots. So yeah, that's heavy ammo. It doesn't count. This is okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> T Chang asks, when do you guys think Robbie will win another chat? Fuck you! All right. Next question. <laughs> Intimidating waffle. Are fruit and blue always as abusive to Robbie? All right. So Robbie's gonna tell you that yes, we're a bunch of assholes, but in reality. We are very nice right. to him outside of stream. This is something outside of stream, <laughs> outside of video. <laughs> this is a pressing matter we need to cover because I'm sick of reading about it. <laughs> Non-stop, dude. Like people think we're like bullies to Robbie, but Help the me. whole time you guys like Fruit has to cut out stuff of his videos and non-stop. It's Robbie is the one that immediately when the video like immediately we start recording, Robbie like starts the shit talking machine oh. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> These videos are for fun. They are not it's, serious. Exactly. It was just banter. It's right? just, just banter. It's we're not, just friends We're not messing serious around. when we I'm gonna be fight. Honest with like, you guys. I am definitely a lot more abusive to these two when we're not even doing videos. It's, it's, uh, it's very bad. true. We're like, yeah, we're like, we're just calm doing stuff. Anytime we play PvP, Robbie will nonstop tell us to get oh. our heads out of our asses. So. Oh my god. I'm like, what the, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Like, all right. it's all hey, it's all love with these two, man. Nothing it's but all love banter. Yeah, if you think we we mean it, and when we we're, we're mean to Robbie or any of us are mean no. to each other, we're not. We're doing it because it's funny and because that's what friends do. We bust each other's yeah. balls. You're not really my friend Several if I times. can't call you a put little bitch. Okay, you're not really my <laughs> friend if I'm not allowed to call you that. I don't know if I want to be your friend. Mom, this guy's being mean to me. Bob Bobson asks you always talk about pokemon in your videos so what is your favorite pokemon oh my god i didn't even know that was a question wow <laughs> surprise hey can i pick unscripted can I pick shinies or no what does that have to <laughs> just pick a sure just pick yeah, the you know pokemon sure. you can be That's... shiny if you want well no because the shiny like changes the color of the pokemon and it makes it way cooler. if you want to be a shiny that's not the species of the... oh my god um oh, oh Christian, my god. I, I think you should start us off because you're I... mr MLG Pokemans. Actually, that's interesting he brought that up. I did used to play the Pokemon card game, and I was actually in the World Championships and placed 12th. So. <gasps> oh my god, you didn't place top 10. You're noob, 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 noob. <laughs> I got cheated out of it. Nerd. Okay. My favorite Pokemon is probably Dragonite, just because I just think he's just so awesome. Like, could you imagine just walking around with a giant seven foot He's a giant. baller, too. Oh, I go. I want one so bad. Um, but my favorite shiny Pokemon is uh, Shiny Charizard because he's. Just oh, so that's young. real original. Who wouldn't say that? Real. Shiny no one's Charizard. ever oh like shiny Charizard. <laughs> Links in the description to shiny Charizard. Whatever. Every, it just lame. turns black. This is gonna be super freaking lame. Uh, my favorite Wiggly has tough. pretty much always been Charmander, just because he's. Oh, he's so him. awesome. Charmander's just cool. Like I love Charmander. Char I mean, I like Char Charizard. Charizard's Char cool, but like I always had this habit Char as a kid of like never evolving my Charmander. 
So Jack I just always like Charmander the most. Jack! If you guys didn't cry to that Pokemon episode where like they're trying oh. to save the Charmander from like his abusive trainer, you don't have. A, we're done. Oh. Get out of this video. Together Get forever, out. no matter how long. Oh, that, that's the song it back plays. Until the yeah. end <laughs> of time. As a kid, I was like, oh, this is so inspirational. All right, mine's a little off the cuff. Um, you may not even recognize it, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it because everyone tells me something different. Bonds lie. Oh, oh Bonds. Oh. Yeah. He's like oh, that, that little. One. Uh, what generation? He's is that? little the pseudo Udo. Yeah, he's the baby pseudo. I think he's four. Oh, he's four. little. He's a little cute little guy. But if we're talking one, original 150, I'd probably have to go with Arcanine because who Ooh. wouldn't oh, go with Arcanine? He's what a sick. badass. Yeah. Yeah. But doesn't Gary have one? Yeah. Pfft. Exactly, you know, Gary's dude. Gary's a douche. Arcanine's a what? badass. Gary, Gary, he's our man. Have you seen the he's pictures Gary, like Gary Oak? He paid those chicks to freaking cheer him on. He is Gary mother f no, man. Rex asks, what were y'all's favorite game before Destiny? What was y'all's? If we're talking in terms of I just, like, something I, like, what I was playing before I picked up Destiny, I was kind of a lost soul. Uh, I didn't really have anything to play. Um, probably... I'm a lost soul looking for a game to play. Probably, all right, this is going to sound weird. Probably Guitar Hero 3. Because when I had my PS4 and I didn't have Destiny, it was kind of just collecting dust. But Guitar Hero 3, I'm super sick at that game. Check out my achievements. I have the Inhuman achievements. Oh, that can be, uh, Here we go. Through the Fire and Flames on Xbox. Here's his plug I'm nice in. at that game. Nah, <laughs> By the way. um, Okay, before Destiny, there was. The, I never really had like a game like I was like super dedicated to. Before Destiny, I would say the game closest to it was like a, probably a year back when Destiny, before Destiny came out, and I no played shit. Team Fortress like nonstop. Team Fortress 2. Ooh, I've never played Team All Fortress just because I don't have a PC. I have played it. It confuses me. Uh, I die a whole bunch, and I ultimately quit. It's a very specific game. The Team Fortress community makes what the game is. Like all the characters have personalities that are defined by it. Mm. yeah i'm gonna i'm not gonna go too far into it let's just say team fortress is badass <laughs> no tell us more blue I'm, it'll take like 20 minutes and <laughs> okay, we don't, we don't got that kind of airtime. okay all right my favorite game if we are talking about right before destiny it would have to be league of legends I was grinding that game super hard super hard but probably if we're going like all time as a kid it would have been pokemon because <laughs> oh, pokemon ooh, man. when i first encountered fps's it would have been halo 3 that was my love child do you want to just name all your favorite games of all time because it's my yeah, okay. i thought but, we had um, a question we after we got this pokemon dedicated to that. we got then it went to halo 3 and then it was black right, well, ops when we ask the question what are your favorite went... games of all time we're just gonna skip you all right before we go way too ham on this because we are going down a super slippery slope <laughs> Joe Willis asks, Joe Mama, how did you guys meet? Well, fruit, how did we meet? <laughs> okay, well. Okay, well, how, hold up. Before you do that, I'll, I'll, I'll start off with me, because Robbie okay. and Fruit didn't know me before. Well, at least, whatever. Look, I've known them <laughs> the least amount of time. Well, the we first met. Oh, yeah. I met Fruit through, like, meeting him on Twitter and, like, talking to him about, like, if he needed help doing graphics. And then Fruit was like, okay, cool. And I was like, okay. Cool. cool. So then, yeah, cool. That was oof. actually our conversation. Eventually, one thing led to another. We had a child, um, and then he didn't pay our child beautiful support. Beautiful little <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> beautiful little Tiffany. Wait, then, why am I the bad guy here? You were the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Anyways, retelling. I literally met Robbie like ten minutes before our first Dream Team video. Yeah. So, and I'm not joking. That's yeah. It was Robbie it said was, hi. I said hi, and then we recorded the video. Yeah, so that's it how was we Christian met. going. Hey, um, we're gonna record this video with this kid named Blue Wessel. Are you down? I was like, Yeah, sure. I, I don't have any homework to do. And then I joined the party, and Blue joined the party, and we recorded. A match made in heaven. I'm like Cupid. That's what I am. <laughs> do the far more interesting one now of Fruit and Robbie, who go way back far right. longer than uh, that. I remember. I met Salty old Robbie here. What was it? That's me. Fifth grade. It was fifth grade, yeah. I just moved from uh, my, uh, from like some place in the hood to uh, a new place that was much nicer. Okay. And um, that, that uh, was I'll take real it nice me. and vague, and yeah, that was good. I'll take, I'll take it from here. So I real moved, subtle. I moved from a house, and we're in the middle of fifth grade, and I was like super cool at my old school. So I was really nervous mm -hmm. about going to this school I don't and like, know starting how that all over. Out. And so 
I think it was like halfway, it was like February-ish when I came to this school, and um, I come into class and I just see this little guy sitting <laughs> down, all, and he had an open seat next to him, and I was like, hey, can I sit here next to you? And he was no. like, uh, yeah, sure. And That's then the I sat next life. to him, and it just turns out that that someone is now Mr. Fruit. <gasps> and I used to live, I mean, we lived, what, two blocks from each other? Something since like we were seniors in high school. And we've just been good friends ever since the fifth grade. All of memory lane. That's some notebook level stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's... Well, I mean, they explain how I met them, so... Um, that... Um, I, uh, next question. Ne- ne- next question, yeah. Uh, Hawk Moon uh, asks, Does Robbie miss me? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I saw that one coming. <laughs> Woo! That's the first time I've ever heard that. That's hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so Someone freaking with funny. a hawk moon jo- oh, what? what? <laughs> you see, Pete, you see, nobody really understands how much shit Robbie goes through nonstop Woo! every day of his oh life, god, ever that- since that hawk moon oh video. Oh my god, that's fing hilarious. Oh, I love that. I just messed up. I lo- that's still it's still my favorite gun in PvP, and I still wish I really had it. And um, if you want a good way to get uh, booted from my fire team, if you ever get in, if you shoot a fucking hawk moon in my goddamn face while you're playing with me, I'll fucking kick you and block you. <laughs> All right, next question is uh, uh, Bricks Man. Uh, why is Robbie so salty? I'm not salty. What would make you guys think that? Why is Robbie so salty when someone teabags him, <laughs> though he does it to them? All right, so here's a big problem. He, yeah, I here's the problem. Eight, he has anger management issues. I have an eight-year degree in teabagging. So I know the technique. I know the history behind it. I know everything. This made my brain hurt more than I had expected it to. So It was way too, way too much uh, talking. Something whoa, about wait, something and then salt and then ball sack. I don't know. I lost it. Technique proper. My name's Robbie. Blah. Yeah, something, something. Whatever. Mary Peterson asks if you guys had to describe each other's play style in one word what would it be robbie's is uh, fruits is careful <laughs> oh oh okay careful robbie's so would definitely be robbie's is like super like i guess no fear i'll be nice i'll say no Ooh, fear that's fearless. two words we'll that's say good. that okay that's good <laughs> i'll take fearless that fearless is Fearless is one. That's, fearless is two words. No, that's one word. Kids. That's one word. Fearless is two words. Explain the Westlow's style. It'd probably be uh, inconsistent. Well, f- uh, you too. <laughs> Robbie's is inconsistent. We'll go with that. <laughs> we switch from getting carried to caring. It's a bad time. Fruit, I'd probably say best because he's definitely the best at PvP and his play you style. Got you got that on. Hey, you got, got that on. Hey, I got it. We recorded that. <laughs> we recorded it. Everyone will know now. Let it be known. All right, I would have to say Blue Westlow. Just Robbie V. <laughs> Just do it. No, I said that. Was, oh, you didn't hear it. <laughs> it's non-existent like your skill. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, snap, girl. Just kidding. I won't put that in there. Don't worry. I love you. Take me back. You're, you're putting it in there. Don't lie. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> All right, fine. That goes to show how, want, how valued I am in the dream team. Blue Westlow. Mm-hmm. We're done. No. No. Methodical. No. Robbie. Ooh, big vocab word. Oh, Methodical. Shit. Does this okay. mean I have I'll to be it. nice to Robbie? No, oh, just fuck do. the day one. I'm not going to take it to the heart. <laughs> Egotistical. Ooh, that's a good one. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a good one. I totally agree. I'm I'm not wrong. All right. The Jez asks, which Dream Team member would best be able to change a tire, cook a medium difficulty meal, and accurately fire a gun IRL? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to have to claim the uh, medium difficulty meal. I think I could make a uh, pretty mad housewife if I uh, do say so myself. (laughs) If if the medium if the medium dish includes milk and cereal, I think I got you beat. But that's about it. I I, I don't like not, the ovens. Okay. I don't like stoves. <laughs> Throw it in the mic. If it can't be made in the microwave, I, I I won't make it. Change a tire though. I think I got everybody beat. I think I could change a tire pretty well. Growing up in Texas, you probably learned to fire a gun before Stay you home. learned to drive a car. Quite honestly, yeah, I've so never shot a gun in real my life. My dad has like a ton of hunting rifles, so oh I'm actually pretty good with a. Uh, 
With a everything's rifle, bigger so. in Texas. Yahoo! You go out, shoot some armadillos and stuff. They have armadillos. Mm. <laughs> armadillos. God. Go and get ourselves some armadillos. Luke, uh, Luke Lakatos. Wow, I've really butchered that one. Can I buy a vowel, please? Um, how did you guys assemble the dream team? I guess. Well, I'm the one who assembled it, so shouldn't I tell the story? I guess so. Yeah. It all began Ooh. when I was like, "Oh, I want to make a video of people dicking around in skirmish, and I'll make fun of us and call it Dream Team." And and then it happened, and that's that's it. It's not very exciting. That's yeah. The end. There was no preparation. The night really was going cold, and Mr. Fruit was walking alone, all lonesome. And soon he looked to his right, and Blue Westlow and Robbie V were standing there. <laughs> People we then decided to, to join stuff. him up and join in the skirmish. This is pretty much how every Dream Team video goes. We get into a party. We're like, all right, we're going to record. After 40 minutes of dicking around, we're like, okay, now we're actually going to record. And we just make it all oh, up. Yeah, just pretty much. Of, yeah. yeah, off the cuff. That's how it always goes. Two hours before we start, he messages me. and He's like, hey, you want to do it? And then we do it. So. <laughs> like, okay, so I just came to the epiphany. So you know when you say, like, your balls itch and, like, you itch them? It's not oh, really God. an itch. You pinch and rub. It's more of a pinch and rub. Like, when you itch your arm, you, like, scratch it. Yeah, if you itch like, it, like, balls, like you, you don't, don't get the itch. Oh, the plum? Okay, um, uh, okay, the plum asks, can Blue Westlo release a Dream Team album? <gasps> oh, <my God. laughs> I seem to be the guy who either talks about butts, makes a stupid one-liner, or sings. Uh, so. How many songs uh, have you cool. done? Uh, cool. We've done, I don't know how many. Uh, bullets in Your Butt. That was the first one. We did Bullets, bullets in, your in Your Butt. Your that butt. was good. Just the last one we did the in the arms of Robbie's butthole. All right, so is the, I I don't know if you were being all the answer is maybe is one it... day, mm. though we're I don't think we're Zer hey be on the lookout <laughs> Zer is gonna be selling it for a hundred strange the exotic, coins the exotic Get album. Your in strange coins ready baby because <laughs> Blue Westlow's debut album entitled I don't know what to write about is coming. To Azur near you. Oh wait, wait. So is that is that coming bef before or after his hit album Booty Sweat? I'm, I thought that was. Oh, that, was booty, that booty, one's booty, booty, that's sweat, okay. Sweat, so sweat, Booty Sweat's sweat, is the album. Yeah. I don't know what to write was the project. No name. Booty so Sweat. No Booty oh, okay. Sweat's the mixtape, and then oh. I don't know what to write's the album. There Ooh. you go. See, boom. All right, coming. You've heard it here first, folks. Booty Sweat coming to Azur near you. Boo. Save your strange Booty coins, baby. Yeah. Get your minds Get right. I'm so excited. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Pump Robbie's butt out of all the salt that comes out of it. Oh, uh, then there's more. Get rid of all the back. No, I People watch this shit. <laughs> People actually watch this. <laughs> right? <laughs> what is wrong? Why do they watch us? <sighs> I don't know. Robbie talks about just rages the whole time. I sing hey, stupid shit. I've done like pretty that. well this time. I've done pretty well with the rage and the saltiness this video. <laughs> and then, I don't know. Fruit's just the mediator. <laughs> Justin asks, Where'd you get the inspiration for your names? Well, Robbie's um, is pretty easy. So that's well, pretty so. We were, it was, I was a sophomore in high school, and Twitter was like a brand new thing. I was like, oh my god, do you have a Twitter? And everybody came up with cool names. All right, like let, let me Mickey. cut him off here. He just sort of messed around with his first name, and the V is the first initial of his last name. So creative. Oh, okay, next. Okay, yeah, the, he kind of nailed it, yeah. Good job. There you go. <laughs> GG. That was quick. That was quick and easy. Ten like points to me. Nope. I, hey, last time I, I award the points, all right? Uh, I'll award you <laughs> no, nine. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. <laughs> nine. That's one less than what Robbie got in the beginning. That's I don't make up the it. points, dude. I just follow the rules, all right? <laughs> Whatever. All right, Root. you. <laughs> you. Well, I don't really... I, I think someone asked me this. I did another Q&A. So if you want to go see it, go watch my other Q&A. Boom. Oh, my God. Plug in. Plug. Oh, my God. Plug, plug, wow. plug. Go check out my Q&A. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm not going to tell you again. All right. Well, I'll okay. tell it. His favorite, he didn't know what to do. He couldn't figure out a fruit name, so his favorite kind of fruit was a bowl of fruit. There you go. Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Blue? Okay, GG. Yeah. You guys are going to shit on me so hard, but that's okay. Oh. Mine. <laughs> what is Actually, did. Oh, what a, look, it was a Yu Gi Oh card, okay? My name it is based off the Yu Gi Oh card. card. Oh. That's it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Blue eyes, 
Blue Westlow Ice Dragon. Robbie V has a question. What were your guys' first gamer tags? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, mine was some stupid one. It was like Char Dude or something. Like it was Char it was Dude. Dumb. <laughs> I'm like four year. I'm like twelve years old. Like I'm done. That's it. Uh, my first gamer tag was a uh, rowdy cool cat. It was uh, suggested oh. to me through Xbox, the first Xbox, uh, and it's Xbox Live. I was like a twelve year old kid, and my mom was sitting next to me, and it's like, what do you like to make your gamer tag? And I was like, well, I like cats. And it was like, how about rowdy cool cat? And I was like, that's f sick. So <laughs> I think, that's yeah. so, gnarly. <laughs> mine was double down nine. Double Dad is a blackjack. When you get two of the same cards, you can split it and double down. And around the same time, unfortunately, KFC released the double down and everyone thought I was the chicken sandwich <laughs> thing. With. So I changed it. <laughs> you should have kept it. <laughs> hey, are you uh, named after the uh, double down from KFC? Cause those oh, are that's man. literally exactly what it was like. And I'm like, I can't take this. Oh, Isn't like God. a double down like two... Yeah, it said like buns, it just had like, like chicken. Bacon. Yeah, it is. It's basically bacon diabetes and, like, in a sandwich. Grease. Yeah. It was a heart attack waiting to happen. Ven Central wants to know what is your favorite game ever? I guess I already answered this. Yeah, you uh, fing answered it. That's I, why was I was too like, oh, high. Here he goes, just babbling I on. Was too you hyped, already okay. answered it, so. My fa I have three, because I can't really. They're all perfect tens in my book. Kingdom Hearts 2. It was actually my banner for a while. Kingdom Hearts 2, absolutely love that game it's perfect in every way go play it then fallout or yeah fallout 3 and then my other third one is halo 2 because that game got me into first person shooters and oh i love that game i was so mlg in that game my favorite was probably it still is for a long well god let's still it's a really good game my favorite probably is still metal gear solid 4 because when i first got that game that was like the first PS3 game I got with my PS3. You know, from the, I played Metal Gear Solid 1, I played 2, 3, like all the different ports, and like Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. Like, that game's perfect. You could go back and play that game, and you would still think it's an awesome game. One, my probably favorite game I just played, just because of nostalgia, would probably be Pokemon Crystal. But as far as like a story game goes, Bioshock Infinite holds a special place in my heart. See, dude, I've never even played Bioshock either. I need to start playing. Oh, games. Bioshock. That's a really good one. The first Bioshock was one of my favorites ever, too. Bioshock Infinite, Infinite. spoke to me on a whole new level. I literally okay. bought it the day of. I finished it the next day. And as soon as I finished it, I replayed it. That's how good it was. Aww. I should yeah. say that game does a lot of things with your head that you may not like, but probably are going to like. Hey, why is Destiny not your favorite game? <laughs> All right, well, I think that about concludes our Dream Team Q&A. Thanks to everyone. Oh, for whoa, whoa, in your whoa, whoa. You, whoa, 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 you're forgetting a part. We got to tally up the points. What? So you are a I have Blue soul. Westlow finishing we with zero. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Mr. Fruit okay with that. has nine. And Rabbi V has a total of 2,445. Yes. Oh, nobody told win Robbie streak. that we, the scoring is like on golf. This win streak. Blue, we're you won. Back on this win streak. Oh. We're, we're on this win streak. <laughs> Robbie, the scoring is in golf. Yeah, he hasn't uh, realized yet. So I shot I a 2,445. I don't know if that's the last one. I mean, one good job. Think. You were there weeks on end. <laughs> Just weeks boom. on end. Whatever you guys have to say to not make me think I got a W this, game, this video is not going to work. Blue likes to say, thanks for sending in your answers. We were glad to question them. <laughs> so wait since i won the video i get to sing out the video right no <gasps> baby no. won't you come my way pump up the jam pump it up pump rob his butt out of all the salt that comes out of it oh uh, <laughs> <laughs>